Why am I nervous? Girl, I literally can't breathe right now. One, because my nip my microphone is pinching my nipple. <laughs> but also, you guys, look. What's this? Here's me. Here's me. Gagging. I have the products. The products are here. It's time to review. I got five browsers up. I'm making sure nothing crash come February 20th. Google, Safari, Firefox. I went back in time to download Windows 98, make sure that browser was working. <laughs> I needed to get in line to buy the product. I'm on my way to the gym, baby. What's that? Oh, a little buzz in my pocket. Hello? Hello? Not a call, a DM. From who? Beyonce. No, not her. <laughs> Sacred. But I would like to imagine that it was literally Beyonce typing like, hey girl, like we wanna send you some products, sis. <laughs> Oh no. I didn't know exactly when the products would come, but I still, I wanted to do a review in time for y'all. So I was about to actually order the products. And then right as I was about to buy that super fan bundle, baby, I got a knock at my door. Ding dong. Hey, wait up, hold a minute. Cause who be, who ain't nobody visiting me, baby. I don't got no friends out here. Lizard. It was the products. VIP sacred box. Let's open it. Girl, that sound expensive, that little cut. Stop playing with my good sis Beyonce. She said, put, get, get the premium boxes. Get the, just whatever. I spent all this money on this dang on tour. It made me a lot of money. So we, we got a little bit of extra in the budget. How wild is it that like my fave Beyonce decided to make something so delicious for me to enjoy, you know? She's like, don't Will be doing on them videos. Send him a box. Ah! Oh, oh, girl. Yes, open her up. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Oh my gosh, oh, you guys, it's here. Oh wow, the box feels like velvet. Oh, oh she's heavy. Okay, move out D-Way. Here we go. I'm keeping this box forever. It's a magnetized box. Wow. This is so, this is nice. This all you up in here, Beyonce? Most beautiful woman on the planet. Oh wait, this uh, is a video? Oh. Let's get down to business, baby. My first impressions is that like, I thought the bottles would be smaller and then I saw people handling them in videos and then I was like, oh, oh, those bottles are like pretty big. And now that I have the bottles, I would say they're like smaller. Girl! Um. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh wow, so cute. They're like little statues. It feels like a plastic, like it's a plastic. This one is malleable. It's a, there's some pressure that you can add there. It looks like a stone statue. It feels like weatherproof. You know what I'm saying? It feels like something I could put on my balcony and it'd be fine. Beautiful embossed logo. The bottle is textured like stone. We'll talk about why the packaging for these products specifically is important. Why it's so involved and intentionally designed. We also have a hydrating shampoo. Let's see. Yep. Also has a little bit of give because you need to be able to squeeze these out. And that's what I was worried about. I was like, are these going to be hard? I don't want no hard up, hard up thing. Next, we have the moisture. Oh, girl, get out of there. <laughs> Girl, I'm trying to look at you, baby. This is the moisture sealing lotion. This is listed on their website underneath stylers. Ain't no cream or lotion on earth I've seen yet. Define my, well, well. Donna's recipe did do her thing. Typically, creams and lotions don't define my type of hair. If this doesn't give me like the definition I need, I will use my own styler, period. Girl, we also have the moisturizing deep conditioner. And what's this? This is interesting because it's one of the only products that is like a different color than the others. Like, interesting. What's this about? Reconstructing treatment mask. We're going to get into like all of what this will do but let's just go through i want to see what i got here oh y'all this is what i've been wanting to check out ritual shaking ve vessel baby that's me at the club i'm a ritual shaking vessel at the club baby. open it up let's see i can't believe they sent me this stuff like that's so wild to me i really am thankful thank you so much sacred because i was really about to spend half my rent on that on that thing girl nozzle attachment and the bottle, it's actually so lightweight, like. And I love this top, meal grinder. Yay! Assuming you would take this off and then put this on. Cool, okay, cause you have to shake it up. You don't wanna shake it up with a nozzle on it. Right. Over here, we have the fermented rice and rose protein. Rice and rose, staples. Rice is pretty much everywhere and roses, I feel like we all share as like a symbol of universal love. So I don't know if this is different from what you could purchase by yourself, but it comes here with four, four of the, oh, whoa, wait, what's all this stuff? Hold up. We have a silk rinse, and then we also have a fermented rice and rose protein powder. And there's four of each of those, so they run in tandem. We definitely gonna use that, because I wanna see what that's about. And then we got the oil chai. She needs some oil, you she. Y'all know I do not be using oils like that. But it's formulated with 13 oils, a signature African oil. I don't know really what that means. Which I guess, oh, well, it says what it means, girl. Their African oil is a blend of baobab, moringa, and black seed oil. This bottle about to eat, y'all. This bottle about to eat me up. Oh my god, it's so pretty. <laughs> 
Oh, it smells good. People are describing the smell as like clean and rich. I'm like, girl, can you give me a little bit more? But that's like exactly what it is. It smells um like what Beyonce's car might smell like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they also sent this booklet. They know how to eat down on some packaging, baby. Because look at this. What? It's like little cards. Not the fast cards. I'm saving this for when I have a baby and I need to, uh, they need to get their brain big. I'd be like, what's this? What's this? Say, great. Great, great. Now, who's this? Who's that? I don't know. Bisaye? Right, right. Our products honor the love and connection mm -hmm. while delivering what hair crazy. Patent pending rich, tech and sensorial luxury and exceptional performance. We don't just dress the hair with cosmetic sheen. Ooh. She reading the girls down. She reading everybody else in the category down. <laughs> we create a healthy foundation so you can express and embellish your hair in ways that make you feel powerful. She looked the f good. Beyonce! She looks so good. Beyonce, can you just put me in touch with the with the girl? The hairstylist, clothes stylist. Put me in touch with your gym, baby. I know it's in your house. I know it's in your house. You ain't even gotta be there. I'll just use the, the treadmill. Oh, wait, this is exactly what I needed. Temple Oud, so it kind of describes the smell. We created Temple Oud to honor your hair and the wisdom of rituals passed down down from generation to generation. Aroma is complex, woven with herbs, spices, florals, and woods, and crafted by perfume or perfumers. Your wife can't read. Who would understand the power of scent memory. So Temple Oud is a collection of notes. The top notes are bergamot, neroli, exotic spice blend, and violet leaves. The middle notes are night blooming jasmine. Who? Love this. That's why I feel so, it feels so rich. Mediterranean lavender, Haitian vivier. Um. Sorry, I just made that up. I just be making stuff up. Haitian vetiver. I heard this word before and I still can't pronounce it right. Vetiver? I think it's Haitian vetiver. The base is oud, Australian sandalwood, and warm musk. It's a well-balanced smell so far from what I've smelled. And then there's a whole breakdown of all the ingredients that they use and all the ingredients that they don't use. Usually it's just like five things on the side of a bottle. This, uh, there's a whole list of things that they're like, we don't, we're not using that baby. Mm -mm. No silicone, parabens, all that stuff, but also no microbeads, coal tar, DEA, artificial dyes, formaldehyde or formaldehyde releasing agents, no BPA, it's all here, no triclosan. I don't know, they're kind of eating the girls up. This to me already, not even counting the fermented rose and rice protein situation, is already dispelling the kind of rumors out there that this is just a cash grab. This is chemistry forward, science forward. This is some professional like, and this, this is in different areas. What the it's not just, let's just throw honey in a shampoo and call it like the Beyonce shampoo. It's not that. Literally right here, it says, we are rooted in inclusive and advanced clinical lab and salon testing. Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> Case closed on you haters, on you hoes. <laughs> Case closed. The pricing of the products and other criticisms of this line. I would love to discuss that later, but right now I kind of just want to hop into it. So let me take this little quiz on the website. Just got back from the gym. My hair is dry. It's the perfect time to get into the shower, right? Typically what I'm doing is I'm shampooing twice. Two. I'll deep condition or use a conditioner. Then I'll put in a leave-in conditioner and style with whatever product. That's just four steps. Now with Sacred, there's a whole extra thing with the fermented rice and rose powder, the silk rinse that would follow that, and there's a reconstructing mask. So it's like, does the reconstructing mask come after the fermented rice and rose powder and silk rinse? Do you use those two together? I'm confused. Cause there's also a scalp scrubbing shampoo and there's a hydrating shampoo and a soon to come conditioner and a regular deep conditioner. So it's like, girl, what am I using? <laughs> Let's just take the quiz, girl. What is your hair type? Straight, no. Gay. Is zigzaggy but coily, a little curly? I'm gonna just say coily. How thick is your hair strands? Oh, I have fine hair for sure. How dense is your hair? Pretty dense. What is the porosity of your hair? Um, I'm gonna say medium. How often do you shampoo? Uh, two to three times a week per. Do you have buildup on your scalp? Do you? Well, yes. Yes. Yes, girl, extreme. What is the overall condition of your hair? Healthy, average, somewhat damaged, damage. I would say it's healthy. How are you currently wearing your hair? Um, I would say in my... Um. <laughs> Oh, this is um, interesting. Relaxed, locks, color treated, perm, temporary protective styles, bleach, lighten, none of the above. Yeah, girl, mine is none of the above. I just wear natural and natural. What are your hair concerns? Um, for me, it for its control for sure. Curl definition is important to me. Hair breakage is important to me. I have fine hair and it can like break off pretty quick. I do like shine and scalp health. <gasps> what the? F okay, I got my results. So it says I should use the uh, hydrating shampoo at least one time per week. This is great. It tells you like when to use it, how to use it. Not they added it to my cart. <laughs> they didn't add the reconstructing mask, which is interesting. Well.
just as I thought. So at some point, if y'all want a reconstructing mask review from me, you'll find that maybe on TikTok, Reels, or Shorts. Okay, now we can actually get in the shower and wash this hair. I feel so much less confused. <laughs> my god you guys it's time to try sacred like the long awaited the much anticipated the dolls are here in my shower give it to me by sacred like let's get into it uh the first step is always to clean that dirty little stain scalp so i'm gonna take the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub y'all it smells like a peppermint from miss tina's purse baby i mean lemon tea tree oil you just twist the nozzle open and then you gotta squeeze the bottle a bit for it to come out i tried putting it everywhere but i def recommend parting your hair and applying it directly to your scalp so you can like actually feel it going on. Otherwise you think it's coming out, but it's not. It's not baby. But I gently rubbed it in with the pads of my fingers and almost immediately sank into this spa mode. Like fetch me some cucumber slices for the eyes and a mint and ginger kombucha in a champagne glass, yeah. I don't remember too much of a cooling effect, but it does contain tea tree oil for dryness and balancing. And it also has exfoliating acids to cut through oil, sebum, product buildup, dead skin. It's like at that point, what, what else is it cutting through? I'm scared. <laughs> it also has organic purple willow bark, which is a natural source of salicylic acid, which I know well to be truly so helpful with my dandruff and overall scalp health. Now, if you squeeze a little bit of this out into your hands and rubbed it together, you can really feel some granulation there. That's the microcrystalline cellulose, which unlike micro beads, is a physical exfoliant naturally derived from wood. So all in all, baby, it was a non-abrasive smooth application that also had some like lather. Sacred suggests you follow up to double cleanse with the hydrating shampoo. This was my first time smelling the products for real. Like right here in the shower. That temple, ooh, girl. It's all the things. It's oud, Australian sandalwood, warm musk, night blooming jasmine, violet leaves, Haitian vetiva. But if you ain't no perfume diva, then I'll just I'll just translate it. It's a spiced floral scent, okay? With maybe like a mild sweetness, lots of warmth, less church grandma, and more like rich auntie at a dimly lit dinner in Soho. Girl, I hope that makes sense. Anyway, the shampoo had me gagged. The slip was the first thing I noticed. It feels so Here's me luxurious. Gagging. And that's exactly what you would expect from a brand launched by Beyonce. It has a few notable ingredients. Um, hyssop extract for radiance. Also, the very special bioactive keratin ferment which is Sacred's patent pending blend of hydrolyzed wool carotene, honey, and lactobacillus. This is something only Sacred would offer or they would like license this blend of stuff out. It makes a lot of sense as a concoction that kind of balances moisture, reduces breakage, and infuses protein into your hair strands. There's also a cationic hyaluronic acid. Girl, see, it's giving science. <laughs> like all these big words, baby, it's giving science. Bill Nye, the science guy. He probably, he probably a Beyonce stand. You know, one LA prod I did thought I saw Bill Nye like in the crowd and I literally yelled out Bill and he turned around, but I don't think it was him. Just another tall white man named Bill. <laughs> anyway, you can really see the care that they put into the formulation. It's so easy to apply and the results are pretty much instant. My hair felt stronger, detangled, moisturized, all of that as soon as I rinsed it out. Now we're gonna move on to the two step. We talking about the fermented rice and rose protein treatment. Sacred recommends doing this every four to six weeks, right after shampooing and before conditioning. Now, Sacred's not calling it this, but I'm calling it a low level protein treatment. You just fill up your vessel with 24 ounces of water. There's no marker like on the bottle. So I kind of just guessed how much water I was putting in there, but I did leave enough room to shake up the mix. I poured in the fermented rice and rose protein, closed it up. And I shook that thing, baby. Ain't nothing new to me, okay? I, I get I gets down, okay? Do not battle me, you gonna lose. I'm true to this. I will say that this stuff smelled literally so delicious. It's different than the Temple Oud. So it's not giving rich auntie. It's giving more of a sweeter smell. Yuzu and white peach petals, jasmine and citrus rose. Ooh. This stuff smells like tropical fruit punch juice, baby, but with like, er, like herbs and botanicals, like rose and, it's just a, ooh, I wanna, <laughs> I'm, I'm shaking it like I'm at a bar, I'm a bartender. Yeah, I'm about to pour me a drink. I'll take two of those on the rocks. You're supposed to let it drench your hair, so I kind of just let it pour out. The point is, is that it's kind of like a rice water treatment with some other stuff in there, like green tea leaf extract, biotin, honey, all that distilled into a powder that activates with water. That way you're not leaving some stank rice water out on your windowsill to ferment, only to whisper some protein into your hair strands. I 
definitely needed something like this. My hair strands are super fine. I deal with breakage. I just need a little boost every once in a while. So I let this sit in there for five minutes and then I rinsed it out. My hair wasn't as crunchy as I thought it would be. Like that's the whole thing with protein treatments is that your hair be mad crunchy. And Sacred does warn you that your hair might be stiff. But I read my hair as feeling maybe more strong than stiff. Anyways, afterwards you go in with a silk rinse, which feels like a mini conditioner formulated just to replenish moisture at this step. The packet was small but I definitely only needed one. I let that sit in there for five minutes as well and moved on to the deep conditioner. It smells of the signature oud and it works as a typical deep conditioner, nothing new to learn here. I will say a little goes a long way. Like it's super rich and thick. So I just slapped it in there, coated every hair strand and waited for like 30 minutes before rinsing. It has what Sacred calls the African oil blend, which is a trio of baobab oil, moringa oil and black seed oil. And it has two butters, Shea and Muru Muru. I have some specific thoughts on the deep conditioner, so I'm gonna just save that for later. But let's finish up in the shower here and get into styling my hair with more sacred products. <laughs> Okay, girl. All right. All right, everybody. Yeah, it's clipped onto the nipple because that's the, that's the best place for it, baby. What? Sorry, Miss Tina, if you're watching this. <laughs> girl, sorry, Miss Tina. Maybe that's going to be the name of this video. Sorry, Miss Tina. <laughs> An apology to Miss Tina. Girl, let's talk about the products. I do have some thoughts. I, I want to say that, first of all, my experience with the hair products were both meeting my expectations and blasting away my expectations. And then maybe one of the products I feel like kind of underwhelmed me. First, I used the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub. This was great, okay, this was great. I do feel like you need to use quite a bit of it, or at least I do, but I also don't feel like you need to put it everywhere. With a scalp scrub, you're like, okay, what do, do I kind of apply? Do I apply it like everywhere? How much do I use? All I need to do is just do one thick straight line all the way from the top to the back, to the rooter to the tooter. It's difficult to get it to travel, so you really can't just put it in one spot and kind of push it around. It only travels a pretty small distance, so just keep that in mind. But I will say that this was great at cleansing my hair and my scalp. She did what she came to do. She did what she did. She did, huh? Huh? Also, the only product that smells different from the other products. This one smells of tea tree oil, and then there's like a bed of other kind of herbal and botanical smells in there. It almost smells like a mint chocolate. <laughs> it smells like a Klondek bar, but that, I could just be hungry, baby. I am hungry, actually. So you should probably eat. Then I use the hydrating shampoo. Oh my y'all. This girl is a literally so good i don't be getting hype about shampoos because they typically all feel the same they do the same and then every once in a while maybe a shampoo will kind of blast me away but this one blast me away baby boom right in the kisser got gay sucker punched me the hydration the slip the slip i think was the kind of crowning achievement of this specific shampoo it was just like i could detangle my hair with the shampoo crazy it smelled good it smelled like every other product but it, it smells good and it's great at cleansing you also don't need too much of this i use absolutely too much i love a good lather because i can see where the product is lather typically doesn't really it doesn't have any functional purpose in terms of cleaning your hair but i do think for me it's a visual indicator of where the product is and this showed me exactly where it was. This is one you can't, you have to try. 20 out of 10, I highly recommend. Then I used the uh, shaker bottle. Shake them! Shake them! This was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. It's just two steps. You fill this bottle with water, you're already in the shower, just fill it with water. And then you pour in your little protein powder like you at the gym, baby. What? Shake that bad boy up. I will say, I left my cap in the downstairs and I had to walk around butt naked in the cold. Girl, I was freezing, shivering. Two different caps. This one is for shaking. And then you take it off, you put this one on. Uh, Am I a big fan of that? Not really. I wish there was like just a little cap that you could put on this and you can maybe take it off. Mm. And then so there's not. But this also keeps it compact in the packaging. I don't know, girl. Annoying, but not impossible to have to kind of switch the tops. But once you shake it up, get it all dissolved, you pour it over your hair, you leave it in for five minutes. It's a beautiful experience. It does take quite a bit of time for this to kind of like empty out. So you can squeeze it and that speeds up the process. After five minutes, Strong baby. Pow. That, that and them hair strands just lift the weights. <laughs> I really felt like my hair was stronger. I need like a low level protein treatment every once in a while. One that doesn't leave my hair crunchy. These protein treatments have you out here looking like scorched scarecrow. After you take your silk rinse, you squeeze that out into your hand. It is quite a bit. And they say to empty it fully out into your hand and then apply it. But girl, it's like, you need to, 
<laughs> you it's hard to keep all of that stuff in your hand and knowing that you want to make sure you squeeze out the last little bit and so one if your one hand is filled with the product you can't really squeeze out that last bit so i went back and later after i had applied everything to my hair and squeezed out the rest and put it in areas that i needed you leave it up for five minutes then you rinse it all out all in all maybe 12 minutes you're in and out of there with this really simple i would do this maybe once a month maybe once every two months i don't think there's something i need to do every single time i wash my hair go that rose and rice protein powder when you mix it with the water, it smells like something they would serve me in Tulum. No mess, guys. Smelled like a tropical drink <laughs> that you wanted to literally drink, especially since it was like a liquid. Ah, Don't drink that, baby. They didn't say that's going. That's what you're supposed to do with it. After all of that, I used the deep conditioner. The deep conditioner. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of just a deep conditioner. It wasn't completely like underwhelming, but I don't think it moisturize my hair the way that like some other deep conditioners have i put it in my hair i waited for 30 minutes and then i got back in the shower rinsed it out felt like my hair was maybe the same like once i rinsed it out the same level of moisture okay which i'm okay with because the previous step the silk rinse left my hair super moisturized so this didn't really add any extra level of moisture and so it just to me, it just kind of the experience of it felt flat. I didn't use heat with it. See, that's where my problem kicks in. At. Oh, boy. Heat it. It does say here, add heat for best results. So maybe if I used heat, I would have had a different experience. Um, but I didn't do that. And I rarely do that. I'm not looking to add extra steps to my hair care routine. So this one was kind of meh for me. But I do think that you should look at somebody else's review who actually does use heat. So far, this has been a really great experience. It doesn't feel like these products were rushed. What the products say they're gonna do for me, they do for me, and I'm ready to style. So the styler that they have here is the Moisture Sealing Lotion. Y'all, I don't know, I'm scared. Cause you know, lotions with natural hair, typically they don't do anything. They don't get your curls popping like a gel unless it's called like a curling lotion or curling whatever, a defining cream. So I'm a little afraid of what this might do. I mean, this could just be like a leave-in conditioner for me. It says apply sparingly on damp or dry hair, which is why I didn't apply it in the shower because my hair was like soaking wet. Seals in moisture, leaving hair smooth and shiny. And I think on one of the cards, it said it has like a soft hold. I'm like, should I do a twist out? Should I do a wash and go, but use my own styler? Let me just take a little section. My hair feels so soft. Wow. Okay, I am realizing right now that my hair feels so soft. Oh my God. Wait, I'm shook. My hair don't be feeling this soft. Wait, that's crazy. <laughs> I just noticed. I heard a lot of people complaining about how like little the bottle is for the cream. I'm like little. Girl, it's the same size as everything else. But I think that was the issue is that people were saying they needed more. They know that the natural hair girlies used more. But that I think is why people are missing the point maybe with this with these products this ain't no natural hair care line baby it's literally called the foundation line this is just to keep your hair no matter what it is whether it's dyed fried laid to the side underneath a wig an actual wig whether it's natural or not this is just to help the kind of health and integrity of your hair i don't know i think people are criticizing it through a lens of this products are for natural hair girls and it's like not really anyway i'm going to take a little bit of it it said use it sparingly but i'm gonna use how much i need to use how about that beyonce <laughs> Sorry, Miss Tina. <laughs> it smells like the rest of the products. It's like so moisturizing. Right off the bat, it's easy to spread. I can see how the girls sh like straight up gagged, especially if you have like straighter hair because it coats every strand. It's like butter or rather it's like whipped honey. Mm. What? Um. <laughs> we not doing a wash and go with this baby. There's definitely not too much frizz. I'm gonna twist her up. And if she's giving me what I need her to give, we'll just do a little bit of a twist out. I think I'm gonna do twist, y'all. Oh yeah. Wait, okay, cool. I was scared. I was scared, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. Can you turn around for me? Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. I was so better to be like, yeah, let's just use the wetline extreme gel, crack it open. But I'm just gonna twist my hair and I'll I'll meet y'all back here. Actually, y'all, before I move on. Uh, I'm gonna twist my hair up out of the way, but I was adding some extra product to my hair and it's kinda it's kind of buildable. So I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna add a little bit more. A little bit really does go a long way, but I do think that it's all relative to how much hair you have. Like I'm just gonna add some to this piece here. 
And I'm gonna show you all show y'all what I'm talking about because I was kind of shook just now. I was just adding some more product to my hair. And look. Wow. You see? So it, it does add like a little bit of wow. like it it could it could go places. So I think it just all depends on like how much you use. But then it's also like these products cost a lot of money. And I don't know if you want to do like a whole wash and go with this if it takes so much. I'm just gonna twist my hair up, but this does have kind of a soft hold to it. know what to say y'all like they're not even wet like they're not even wet the products did this without the hair being wet my twists are super moisturized and i already know that this is gonna be like a good twist out why because it's not super wet and so i know this is gonna dry pretty quickly and there's little to no frizz Holly! i love my little drops from the ordinary girl these are so good it's just a moisturizing hyaluronic acid um scalp serum it doesn't have like salicylic acid or anything in there i don't think girl i don't think all i know is you just put it on your scalp and this is so great for me after wash day, just putting on my scalp right here in the, in the front. I don't put too much because it comes out white and it takes a little bit to kind of get that whiteness to go away. This is feels like skincare for the scalp, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'll be having a dry scalp right here. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. This moisture sealing lotion Beyonce. exceeded my expectations. I really thought it wasn't gonna do much of anything, but it's buildable, hella moisturizing, lots of shine, so much shine that I'm like, do I even need the oil? I think I'm gonna put the oil on, on there anyway. Oh, I'm gonna do that anyway. I'm gonna do that anyway, cause that's how I am. Just a great product, and it's not dry or crunchy. It's, it's moisturized. Okay, I'm going to bed, child. Tomorrow, I'm going to take these twists down. I'm going to see like the twist out result. I rarely have a twist out that's like a good twist out. If the twist out don't come out right, I think it's really just me. Like, this is good enough. Like, are you serious? I put my hair in these two loose kind of ponytails, one in the front, one in the back, so as to not stretch the hair when I'm sleeping. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Okay, girl, I'm about ready to wrap this whole thing up. Gotta go home. To my 50 lemon children. <laughs> but I, st I gotta take these twists down. It's been all day. My hair should be dry. But just in case, I'm going to sit underneath the dryer for a little bit. Oh, uh, this thing better work, girl. Okay. I'll see y'all in about 15 minutes. My phone died, so I'm just gonna be, I'm just sitting here. I do have to say that my hair still is moisturized. 91,000 damn hot. You're watching hot it's ones. Hot. Uh-uh. Stop it. Uh-uh. Turn it off. Turn it off, baby. I don't Uh-uh. Move, move. I don't know how y'all be doing that, sitting under there for three hours straight. My head feel like it's about to burn all the way off. Charles, my butler, my butler. Charles, please turn the air on. My God. <laughs> my God, today. <laughs> that was... Girl, it was hot. Um, I'm gonna put some oil on my hair and let's take this down. Add to damp or dry hair. That's all the directions say. Now, I do feel like the packaging, like, I... Ah! What was that? Okay. The oil comes out really slow, but... Oh, I guess if you dab it like this on your palm, it comes out pretty nicely. Yeah, shut me right on up, I guess. Yeah, just dab it on your palm and it comes out super shiny. I be dreaming, girl, dreaming like Selena of beautiful shiny twist out. Hopefully today is the day that we achieve that. Get the back, baby, get the back. What is giving, what is giving? Y'all, I'm not looking yet, I'm too scared. What is giving? Is it good? I'm scared. <gasps> oh my God. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. It's dry. There's definition. No flaking so far. I don't see no flakes. Even though I did use quite a bit. Girl, let's keep going. How about that? 
Ooh, stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing with me right now. Ew, why do I look like um homegirl? <laughs> I think we have a winner. I think we have a winner. Do I even need any, I don't need no more of this. I am just Gagging. delighted. Girl, I ain't never had a twist out this shiny, this easy, this quick. This stuff smells good and it's a lightweight. All the products ate down. From the Ruta to the two, the Sacred did that, Beyonce did that, Miss Tina Knowles did what? That. The products smell good, they're well balanced, they did what they came to do, they're science forward. There's a story behind it, they weren't rushed, it was fully self-funded. There's very little like negative critique for me. The only thing that I wish was done maybe a little bit better was the handling of the packaging, like the packaging is great, it's beautiful. But some of my experience was a little difficult. Opening up that little rice and rose protein powder was difficult. I couldn't do it, one, because I was in the shower and my hands were slippery. The perforated part of it was maybe too high on the pack, so when you ripped it, it still was closed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you needed to get scissors, I needed to get scissors. Maybe I just had, that was a fluke. Maybe everybody else's package is doing some other thing, so let me know down below. Also, because maybe these caps are pretty novel for hair products, I haven't really seen caps that look like this. Maybe there is a round one out there, but these aren't that intuitive. I thought this one would be like pop off, but it's actually a twist. <laughs> but even still, like this one is one of the better kind of handling experiences. It's smooth, there's no hard edges for me to like kind of hurt myself. However, this, I thought you had to twist this off, but there was no twisting happening. And then I'm like pulling it and it's so, it's really, oh! You gotta use like a little bit of strength to pull it off. And if you pull it from here, that happens. <laughs> I don't know what that's about or why, but that comes off. <laughs> so it's a, it's maybe just a little confusing. And the edges are kind of a little too sharp. If these were rounded a little bit more, it would feel better in the hand. Yeah, cause that kind of hurts a little bit. And you can't like, you can't grip, <laughs> right? You can't like grip it without, grabbing the top. That's just like an uncomfortable part of the experience. But come on y'all, these parts are beautiful. Whether they feel good in your hand or not, I'm displaying this on my shelf, you know what I'm saying? I'm also going to separate this twist out. I'm gonna see what that looks like a little later. People I'm sure are gonna be concerned about the pricing of these products. These products are priced in the prestige category of hair care. Prestige hair care is usually about treatment, foundational targeted treatment for hair. And these are priced just so. And they typically have better ingredients, less fillers, bespoke, fragrances and that makes a lot of sense especially for beyonce who continues to market herself as a luxurious queen it's not the diamonds it's not the pearls she that girl but she do got diamonds and pearls you know what i'm saying also because it's in the prestige category it's going to be going up against all these other prestige brands like briogeo and pattern and all these things that are in ulta uh, sephora even that have beautiful packaging you need to stand out on a shelf and so this is a great way to do so by having these really cool tops. Beautiful statues on the shelf. So these products aren't gonna be for everybody. These aren't, like I saw somebody in my comment section of the last video that I put out saying that they'll wait to buy these when they show up on the shelves at Marshalls. Messy. <laughs> <laughs> Messy boo. Messy boo. <laughs> One, they're not available in a, a retail location yet. Maybe they'll be at an Ulta. There's rumors of that. And Tracy Ellis Ross and Beyonce, I'm, I'm sure are friends and they share contacts and manufacturers and can get a purchase order deal for, you know, Beyonce and a product. Pattern is also sold at Ulta. But these ain't hitting no Marshalls or TJ Maxx because they only are sold on the website. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I also wanna address, maybe address is too thick of a word, I just wanna share my opinions or thoughts rather on another criticism. People want Beyonce to be a front-facing influencer. She ain't putting her hair on Instagram, using the products live in her own hair so that they have a more of a reason to buy it. There's so much to say here. I feel like some of it might be just massage noir. What seems to me that's being said is that Beyonce just wears wigs and weaves and she never wear her natural hair. And so like, why would we ever buy products from her? One, I think that's categorically false. She's not always wearing weaves and wigs. She has definitely worn her natural hair on many occasions. This is my robe here. I just got me a nice silk press. Two, this black woman is a performer, dancing and singing at the same time. You do that with natural hair, baby, and see if your hair can be, be maintained every night, you know, for 50 shows for over the course of a year. You go on a three day, two night vacation to Tulum and you putting your hair in a knotless braid. Why? And we have time to discuss. Let's chat. You struggling even to keep those up during vacation. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we all understand that natural hair takes a lot of time 
And you can imagine that if you're a performer and someone who has a motif of hair being a big part of their branding, you're gonna try to protect your hair, baby. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in the braids, you're gonna put a wig on, you're gonna protect it as much as you can. But still, this woman, we've seen her hair. And we've also seen her daughter's hair and her mother's hair. And I think it's a little tired, and I'm sure black women are tired of this too, that we're asking them constantly to see their real hair. Let them do whatever they want with their hair. Period. But even then, these products make a lot more sense in the context that Beyonce does do so much to her hair. She wears wigs, weaves, because these products have made clear to me that they are about caring for the foundation of your hair. We've tested on everything from braids to weaves to colored hair to locks to wigs to textured hair to curly hair, everything. Taking care of yourself and your hair. And that's the foundation for sacred. Period. Now I'm gonna go ahead and separate my hair and we'll have the final result. And then I'm gonna link down below some other reviews that I think are really good that you should watch. I have never really had a twist out that I was like uh, kind of obsessed with. But the hair, girl, is moisturized. It's, it feels so good. It's not dry. The ends are a little, some of the ends are just a little bad. But I think that's that's my fault. I think one, I need to trim. <laughs> and then two, I need to put curlers at the end. I do this every single time. I need to just buy those little curlers that you can kind of put at the end of your twist. I think that would have helped quite a bit because I don't really twist my ends. I just kind of like twirl them around my hand. So when you pull it apart, it just don't work right. Like it truly is not dry, it feels good, but it's not oily or heavy, which I do get with some other products like Donna's Recipe, for example. It's kind of oily, it's a little heavy. Overall, my experience, I would have to say is like a 9.5 out of 10. Okay. Is that is that good? Can we settle there? If you're in the market and you wanna try, I would say go for a try. I think they actually have some sample sizes or travel size packs, I'm not sure. But girl, like you don't have to spend your money if you have products that work for you already. I personally will continue to use these products and I'll probably repurchase again unless they keep sending them to me because baby, I, they is expensive. But I'll probably continue with these because the hydrating shampoo is a winner. The lotion is rich and I can see myself doing like a twist out with it again. The oil is so light, I'm not putting it on my scalp. I, I don't do that. Just for aesthetics, just for a little bit of shine. It also can double as a beard oil, so I'll put it in my beard too. The low level protein treatment is perfect for me. Somebody who needs that every once in a while. So that's pretty much it, y'all. That's Sacred, that's my review on Sacred. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it useful. If you did, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up and if you wanna stick around, be my friend, be my homie, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me everywhere online, just don't follow me in real life. I got two fists and they locked and loaded, baby. Pow, pow, right to the kisser. It's gonna be like, whoa, what's Will, stop, please, what's going on? You ain't gonna know. I got you right in the kisser, yeah. Hope to see you back here real soon for another episode of Will on a Whim. But until then, bye.